Hello, welcome to the channel Kids Club. Hello friends, here is another interesting topic of science. Two pictures with set of objects are shown here. Watch these pictures carefully. Can you guess which topic we are discussing today? Yes, it's a genius answer. It is about living and non-living things. We are surrounded by tremendous objects. In a broader way, they are classified as the living and non-living. Things that are alive are called living things, while things in which life is absent are called as non-living things. So what are the fundamentals which separate living from non-living? First is moment. All living things indicate one or a few distinct moments such as lifting or moving objects, walking, running, flying, talking, making sounds, blinking eyes, jumping, laughing, chewing, swimming, etc. Second characteristic we observed in living things is growth and development. By eating food and nutrients, living things grow in size and can develop into an adult. For example, small tree turns into big plant or hen grows through egg and chick. Third and most important character of living thing is senses. Living things can react to surrounding changes as they have a sense of touch, hearing, sight, taste and smell. Similarly, they can think of their own. Now you may think what about plants? We don't see such senses in plants. How plants come under living objects? If you carefully think and observe, you can find some senses in plants too. Though they are not exactly similar to that of other living things. Let's study some examples. We are familiar with the plant touch me not. It's very sensitive to touch. It shows the rapid folding of its leaves when somebody touches the leaves. Venus flytrap. It is a carnivorous plant. This plant catches insects and other small animals. Their leaves snap shut as soon as any insect or prey touches their hairs. We are also familiar with the moments of sunflowers. Sunflowers turn to the east in early morning and continue to move with the sun until it sets in the west. These examples are showing the presence of sense in plants. Reproduction is the main feature of living things. Living things have the ability to produce younger ones like themselves. For example, the human gives birth to baby, the cow gives calf, the duck gives ducklings, the cat gives birth to kittens, etc. All living things require air, water, food and shelter for their growth, development and survival. So this is about the characteristics of living things. In contrary to living things, non-living things can't move on their own, can't grow or develop like living things, don't have senses, can't reproduce or respire, don't need air, water, food and shelter can be solids, liquids or gases, don't have a specific size or shape, can't think and react 
as in case of living things. If you are watching this video, I am sure you can able to easily distinguish things surrounding you as living and non-living. Thanks for watching this video. For more videos, please subscribe to this channel.